Hey, it's Brittany Taylor and you're watching Rock Forever Magazine. Hey guys, it's Tori from Rock Forever Magazine and I am here right now with Brittany Taylor. Woo! How's it going? Good, really good. You are the most energetic person at this event right now. It's amazing, I love it. It's, I had a fruit plate and just, I think it's, I don't know. I had a bunch of like kale crackers last night. I yeah. think it's just the food. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long weekend, a lot yeah. happening. How have you been enjoying Playlist? Oh, I love it. I mean, the big thing for me, like Playlist is just all about meeting kids, kind of like VidCon. Yeah. So it's like, I just, I don't know. I go home feeling really loved and really tired. <laughs> A little bit of both. Yes. Well, we are going to start with some finished sentence for you. Okay. So you're good to go. Let's do it. Now, your favorite viral video is? Oh, I just got asked this, and I need to probably give it a really? different, different answer. I, I like Honey Badger. Ooh, okay. Honey Badger don't care. Honey Badger don't give a sh I love that video. I, I haven't seen that. Am, am I missing what something major? What is wrong major? with you? Yes. Oh, no. It has so many. It has, I don't even know how many millions of views. It's like this guy voiceovering a honey badger on like a like Discovery Channel kind of thing. Oh. It is the funniest video because like they're really, honey badgers are like really intense. Okay. They're really cute and they can like, you know, they can like, they get, what is it? They get bit by a rattlesnake or something and they just pass out and then they wake up. They're fine. Like they are no like, way. yeah. I feel like I'm really missing something. So everybody comment if you've seen this, if you know what she's talking about. I, I hope I'm not the only one who's You're missing this. You're the only one. Oh, this is so sad. Now your most embarrassing high school memory is? High school? I think just high school in general was embarrassing. I had That's acne and bad highlights and uh, retainers and it was just not a good phase. Oh, well we got out of it. So that's good. Yeah, <laughs> highlights are gone. Breakouts still kind of happen, but it yeah. It everybody. You know? Oh, yeah. It happens. I have really oily skin, so. Yeah. I know if you could trade places with any other YouTuber for a day, it would be? Um, Shauna Malcolm. Hey, okay. Sawyer, what up? Uh, that was Sawyer Hartman, guys. Um, uh, yeah, I'd probably trade with Shauna Malcolm. Okay. Just because I want to know how, what it's like to be that fabulous, and she's a friend of I mine. I was gonna say she is extremely fabulous. She's hilarious too. That would be, that would be an interesting trade for she's sure. The, she's like the yang to my yang. Aww. <laughs> Hope she's watching this to yes. hear this. And now you were the most starstruck when you met. Um. Probably um, all that glitter, all the glitters, yeah. Okay. I, I like love her videos. <laughs> so I, I'm really good friends with Blair Fowler, who's yeah. like Juice Star 07. So she introduced me to, to her at the party. And I was like, hi, oh, I really like your videos. That's like a little awkward. No, it's so fun though that YouTubers fangirl over each other. It well, happens. Her personality is just amazing. So yeah. I think, yeah. And now three words to describe you are? Um, loud, silly, and kind, I would probably oh, say. Those are awesome. Th yeah. Definitely. Thank definitely. You. At least from what I know of you, those are very accurate. That sometimes, like Mondays and Fridays, I can be a little like crazy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rest of the time I'm normal. <laughs> and now we are at Playlist Live, as we mentioned. Is this your first year attending? First year at Playlist. No way. So what has been your favorite memory so far? Oh, that was just all the kid. There was one. There's these two little girls, and um, one of them, she, uh, they drove nine hours to come see me. She was wearing my shirt, and then she saw me, and she just burst out crying. So like, just like uh, the fact that someone would drive nine hours to see me, buy one of my shirts, and then have that kind of reaction, and just like I don't know, it just makes you want to work harder and keep putting out yeah. cool stuff. Yeah, it's definitely a motivation to see people so excited to see you. And yeah. I mean, just walking here took us like 20 minutes because everybody was just so excited to see you, and it's so cool to see you as well. Yeah, I just love them. Yeah, and now I also really love your videos. I feel like they're they're really elaborate. Like your editing is so good. Thank you. And it, like I love your energy. How did you get started posting videos on YouTube? What made you want to start? Oh, I was with a, um, an independent studio called Opera. 11 and okay. I was doing like live video broadcasting so it was like live streaming kind of like you stream kind of videos and I came to work one day and the studio was closed like they just ran out of money uh -huh. and at that point I had like the biggest show on their network and I was able to get like I think I was getting like 100,000 views an episode with this weird Ron Anthony Tanner character that I was playing and then my mom was like well why don't you just take it to YouTube because that's the right when like Lonely Girl 15 blew up so and then I started making videos because like you know I was mad oh. <laughs> I put all that time in and then they like ran out of money and they're gone I didn't know what to do yeah well, I'm really glad we started posting on YouTube because clearly that worked out yeah. very well. And let's see here now. How do you find inspiration for each of your video ideas? I know you do a lot of Q&A videos, but more of the other ones that have more of a storyline and a concept. Um, 
What's your brainstorming process for that? I don't honestly like with any of the videos like you don't like I just feel like they they just come to me. I don't know. I mean, I could be I'm hiking or someone says something and you think of an idea. Like you can make a video about anything. So, yeah. it's just figuring out like, oh, you know, that I had a really funny experience with a friend or I was talking about like I was talking about um with my friend, uh, one of my the helps I have, I finally have a, someone that helps me edit a little bit. Okay. And we were talking about bridezillas and I'm like, it would be funny to do like a wannabe bridezilla and in the end she doesn't want to get married. Like so oh, like, you know, that yeah. sometimes spins off of things just talking oh, to people. Yeah. It's a good thing you have somebody to help you edit because I feel like you I have so it. many jump cuts and stuff. I'm like, this must be she started, well, she a project. She has like the first pass and yeah. then I'll go and like tweak. So instead of like six hours for me editing my shout out Sunday, it's like two hours. Yeah. So it, it can helps. be tedious, yeah. but it's worth it for sure. Oh, yeah. Julie is my little angel. Julie, I love you. <laughs> it's been so, it helps me so much. Yeah. And what is your favorite video of all time that you've posted? Um, probably my everything's gonna be okay video because uh -huh. um, that was when my dad was, di was right when my dad was diagnosed with cancer and I kind of wanted to talk about like whatever space you're going on in your life that it doesn't matter like everything's gonna be okay yeah and with so many viewers and subscribers and loyal fans you're very influential on YouTube you know um, so how do you want your videos to hopefully impact your viewers I think as long as it's like you know girls feel like they can believe in themselves more and just like you know I, I'm sending the message just to be yourself and if you're crazy be crazy like that's what I want. I just want them to be confident and know that they're awesome and you don't need to be insecure because I'm not perfect. And Yeah. And you are very energetic in your videos. I mean, people think you're excited now. Your videos are like 10 times that, which I... Not, but yeah. No, I mean, it's really awesome the energy you can keep up in all of your videos. How do you do it? Like, what are your pre-filming rituals to get you amped up? I don't. I just start no. filming. Like, I, I, I'm and in between takes, even on a serious stuff, I'm always joking. Like, it's so funny because I have a lot of friends that I've been doing music with, and they're like, you're the only person that can be cracking a joke, and then the moment that I, it comes and I need to sing, I can switch right away. Yeah. Because I'm on set all the time. So I'm used to being like, no, no, no. But then, like, right in the scenes. So yeah. You have to just... You just drop into it and do it. Uh -huh. And you've done a lot of crazy videos over the years. You've had a lot of interesting characters. And I know you've also worked with Shane Dawson quite a bit, yeah. which is always interesting, I can imagine. He's just amazing. Yeah. So what is the craziest thing you've done for the sake of a good video? God, the cinnamon challenge was awful. So that was I've pretty heard. crazy. I've never tried it because everybody uh, just says it's, it's a awful. nightmare. It's awful. And I love cinnamon. And I didn't want anything cinnamon related for like yeah. months. No cinnamon mints. And I'm obsessed with cinnamon mints. Yeah. I was talking to Glozella. She was telling me, I mean, her cinnamon challenge was something else. Like, you did you do like the tablespoon? She did like a ladle full. No, but so. I, I literally just squinted and went, oh, oh like that oh like for like two, like I don't know it was like my whole video was just that and people thought it was so funny because like oh, man, oh like that's like my whole video <laughs> well you know what I think that's how every cinnamon challenge usually yeah. goes down because I can't imagine that being pleasant at all no and no, if you could collaborate with anybody who would it be I know you've done some cool collaborations over the years but what's like your dream collaboration um, like either I would say Freddie Wong or like Corridor Digital or someone that has like the I really oh my Lindsay Sterling which I love she's one of my good friends like I, I think just people that have really high quality really cool content where their videos are just epic yeah <laughs> that's that's something interesting for me so let's say they were in one of your videos what kind of a role would you want them to play if Lindsay was in I mean she was a violinist so I'd probably put her in a music video <laughs> yeah. um for Corridor Digital that'd probably just be really cool effects I don't know yeah well, it's you like, never know Maybe they're watching and ready to do a collab, right? I love you guys. Okay. <laughs> and YouTube is really shaping entertainment. You know, you're seeing a lot of brands getting into YouTube. And I mean, YouTubers are going outside of YouTube for other projects. Um, where do you see your career heading in the next maybe five years? I don't know. Like for me, as long as it's like like stuff that I'm proud of, then that's probably what I want to be a part of. So, I mean, you know, if YouTube is the site, you know, to be on, then that's where I want to be. And I don't feel like I would ever want to leave because all the kids are so cute. Yeah. So I feel like I've created like this world where I have this family of all these adorable little children that I just, well, not all of your children. You know, you're all my kids. Even if you're like probably older than me, I'd be like my little chicklets. Um, <laughs> So I think just as long as I keep getting to do what I love is all I care about. Right. Have you thought about maybe doing any projects outside of YouTube or anything like that? Yeah, no, I wrote an eight episode web series and we had an offer for funding, but it wasn't enough money. I might go like the, the route of like crowdfunding. I don't know yet. It's really cute. So it's like, you know, the bigger projects take time to get going. Yeah. And I know you have like a side and makeup channel that you do, yeah. like beauty kind of stuff. And I love that. I would love to see like an all natural makeup line from you or something because I know you're really 
really into that kind of stuff, I, aren't you? Yeah, I am. The only thing is, like, I have, like, three ways to do my makeup or, like, four. Aww. So I did, like, three or four beauty <laughs> tutorials, and I'm like, that's it, guys. You're going to get yeah. DIYs because that's what I know how to do. Like, makeup is not my forte. No, I love it, though. I oh. love that channel. And what are your upcoming plans right after Playlist? Um, just, oh, I was ahead before Playlist, now I'm behind, so just make videos, get yeah. to work. Yeah, lots coming up, I can imagine. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, no and enjoy problem. the rest of Playlist. Yeah, everybody watching, subscribe to Brittany Taylor. You'll love her if you don't already. And subscribe to our channel as well for more interviews, and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.